right, guys, this is Dustin Prinz with jamplay.com. And in this lesson, we're going to use our fingers for something. We're going to do some hybrid picking. So hybrid picking is a mixture of using your pick to pluck your, your low notes, and then you're using your middle, your ring, and your pinky to play some of those higher strings. So for this progression that I demonstrated for the intro, um, we have an inversion of a D chord here. So if you're playing D in the first position here, this is kind of its, its inversion right up here. So the first chord, I'm, I have the open D, and then my middle finger and my pinky are fretting the seventh frets of the G and the B, and I've got an open E, all right? So there's the first chord. Just strum through it, get that under your fingers. Now the next chord is, this is a G, it's, pre it's pretty much a G inversion, it's a G power chord right here. Um, fifth fret of the D, and then my ring finger is playing the seventh fret of the G. Alright, so that's the next chord. And then third chord, we're just going up a full step, so A, G, A, and you're playing you're playing the open B and the open E for both of those chords. So that's pretty much the, the three chord shape variation. All right, so first one, second one, third one. All right, and then as far as the phrasing goes for each one, this is phrase one for the first chord. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time. What I'm doing for that is I'm down picking on this, I gotta look myself, the D string, all right? So I'm down, down picking, and then I'm using my ring finger followed by my middle finger to pluck the B followed by the G, so. Playing that D again. And then I use my pinky to kind of just pull up and then I hammer with my pointer finger of my left hand right here on the fifth fret. So let's do it again. All right, that's pattern one. I'll try it again. That's more to, to speed. So one more time. One, two, three, four. All right. Phrase two. We've got this, this power chord looking thing. My pointer finger is on the fifth of the D. My ring finger is on the seventh of the G. So first just strum through it, get the sound for it. Uh, and here's the phrase. We just slide up a, a full step after that. So the phrase. I'm using this little guy, this little digit. We're, we are plucking, doing a pull off. That's the seventh fret of the high E. And we're pulling off to where our pointer finger is fretting on the fifth fret. All right, do that one more time. It starts with the D, and then I use my ring finger to fret the open B, followed by that fretted G. And then I use my pinky Plug that, pull off to the fifth of the high E. So one more time. And then we slide. So we're gonna go through that. We're gonna go through the th third to the fourth chord there. Or actually on that last one, I kind of just use my fingers to lightly rake them across that beautiful chord. All right, so I'll try this one more time. So chord one and phrase one. All right, so this is phrase one. There's also this little transition from uh, phrase one to phrase two that I forgot to mention earlier. So we will go over that right now. So this is phrase one with the small transition before phrase two. 
All right, what I'm doing for that is I'm pretty much stretching my pinky over here to the ninth fret of the high E, and I'm just plucking that with the pinky, and then fretting the seventh fret of the G with my ring finger. All right, so we're gonna do phrase one of chord one with the small transition there at the end. All right, and then that's when we go into phrase two. So we'll do that whole pattern again. One, two, three, four. The alternate pattern to this right before the, the end of the whole progression is off of chord two, which is this G power chord. We do this little phrase. All right, so I'm gonna do that slow. One more time. Doing with, all I'm doing with that is picking on this D string using my ring finger to play the B and using my pointer finger or my middle finger I should say to play the G string. All right. So one, two, three, four. What my left hand is doing during this progression is my index finger is is stationed right here where it where it should be for the second chord, and then my middle finger comes up, plays the seventh fret of the A, followed by my index playing the fifth, and then the fourth. So that's kind of the lead down there. So one more time. One, two, three, four. Time, one, two, three, four. The last pattern to this song is I do this little single note passage followed by a harmonic, and that's kind of the way that I end it, and it sounds like so. And that starts on the B string, it's just a three, two, zero followed by a 2-0 on the G, and then a 4-2-0 on the D, followed by a 4-0-2-4, and then harmonic on the seventh fret, pretty much of the D, G, B, and E, I think. Yeah, so. So all together, all chords, all phrases, and the ending, it sounds like so. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed using the extra digits of your right hand. That was a technique that many musicians employ called hybrid picking. Alright.